Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet pouch. Now the pattern for this pouch is very easy and I would say that it is a beginner to intermediate level pattern. Now you can use this pouch to use it as your crochet hook case. So here I've used this to store my crochet hooks. You can even use this to store your pen, pencils, uh, maybe your reading classes. So it's quite a versatile uh, pouch and it is quite customizable. So if you want to make it bigger or wider, you can completely do that. So it's a very, very versatile pattern to try out. Now for the uh, supplies here that you would require, now you can use any yarn that you have at hand. I have used this with a medium four weight yarn and a 5.5 mm crochet hook. So as I said, you can use any yarn, just go with the recommended hook size. Now apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors, a darning needle to weave with the ends and a button. So you can use this kind of button or any other button that you have at hand. So you will need a button for the closure. So these are the su supplies that you would require. If you're looking for other pouches, I do have a few other patterns on my channel. If you're interested, you can just go in the description box. I'll put all the links there. So let's just get started. But before that, a small request. If at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Now let's just get started. So we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first. So to make a slip knot, you take your yarn. Loop it around your finger like an X, then take this loop out and pull your working yarn through this loop. So this here is your slip knot. Now you can make the slip knot the way you like. This is how I like to make my slip knot. Okay. So here I've got my slip knot and we'll start this by making seven chain stitch. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, so here I have got my seven chain stitch and this will be the width of the pouch here. So here is the pouch and this was made with seven chain stitch and this was the width. Now, uh, once you finish your pouch, you'll have a quarter inch to either side. So that will be like the uh, width of the pouch if you're starting with seven chain stitch. Now, if you want a wider pouch, you can just increase the number of chain stitch. Okay, so here I'm going to start with seven chain stitch. We will start with the first row. So for that, I'm going to skip the very first chain stitch. So this is my first chain stitch. I'll insert my hook into the second chain stitch from the hook. So this is my second chain stitch. I'm going to insert my hook there and pull up a loop. Next, I'll insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook here. I'm going to yarn over and pull the working yarn through all the three loops. So basically here I have done a single crochet, two together stitch. We will do that again. Now the first stitch where I'm going to insert my hook is the where we have finished. So you can see that this is the stitch where we have finished the stitch here. So that is the place where I'm going to insert my hook again. So I'm going to insert the hook into that same stitch, pull up a loop. I'll insert my hook into the next stitch. And then pull up a loop. I have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. Okay. So this is what the pattern is. We are just going to do single crochet. Two together stitch. So we'll do that again. So I'm going to insert my hook here itself. Where we have finished uh, the stitch. There itself I'm going to insert my hook. Pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch. And then pull up a loop. Yarn over and draw your working yarn through all the three loops. We'll do that again. Insert your hook into the same stitch where you have finished. Pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull your working yarn through all the three loops. We'll do that again. So insert your hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all the three loops. So this here was my last stitch. Now if you have made a longer chain stitch, you just finish, uh, continue this pattern till you end, reach the end of the row. And once you are at the last stitch, 
at the very last stitch you have to make a normal single crochet so in the very last stitch make one single crochet so this is row one we will repeat the same pattern so for the row two and from here onwards every row will start with chain one and then turn our work now we are going to repeat the single crochet two together stitch itself so this is the chain one just ignore that come to the very first stitch and pull up a loop again go to the next stitch and then pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops we'll do that again so insert your hook into that stitch pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three so we continue so you always you always have to start the stitch or insert the hook in the same stitch where you have finished so this is where we have finished i'm inserting my hook there and then doing the single crochet two together stitch i'll do once again so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops and the very last stitch you can see that it is a little bit twisted so that is also there we'll complete a single crochet two together stitch there also pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so single crochet two together has been done in all the stitches and in the very last stitch you also have to put a normal single crochet so always end your row with a single crochet a normal single crochet so this is the pattern that we will be following uh, till you reach the length that you require so i'll show you once again so every row we'll start with chain one turn the work and then make single crochet two together till the end of this row so we'll do that into the first stitch into the next stitch and then complete your stitch we'll do that again insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops you just have to take care that the first stitch will go you have to insert the hook into the last stitch where you have finished that's the only thing that you have to take care the remaining it's very very easy so this is my last single crochet two together stitch that i'm going to do so i'll insert my hook where i have finished so i'm pulling up a loop i'll insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three so this completes the single crochet two together stitch and in the very last stitch you always have to finish with a normal single crochet so just go on repeating the same pattern uh, till a couple of rows i'll show you how many what is the length that i have made you always chain one turn your work and then repeat the pattern you can see a nice texture for me so i'll make a few more rows of the same single crochet two together stitch do not forget to put a last single crochet in the very last stitch and i'll make a few rows and i'll meet you okay so here i have repeated the pattern and made it into a long strip and if i have to measure my strip here this will measure about 14 inches or 36 centimeters so this is how long my strip is you can increase or decrease the number of rows it totally depends on how you want or how big you want the hook case to be so this is how i'll be making it i'll fold it over like this and this side i'll be using as my flap so this is how my pouch will be looking so adjust the length of the strip according to the way you want your pouch to be okay so the strip is done now we'll be working on all the four sides and here we'll be making a single crochet on all the four sides a normal single crochet we are just going to make a border first so if you see on this side you can easily find gaps here so you can evenly place your single crochets so i don't know okay here is one gap here here is another here is one more so like this just evenly place your single crochet you can find a small gap so you can see one single crochet will go here one will here one here one here so like that you can evenly place your single crochet so we'll first work on the length wise and then go to the breadth so i'm going to start from this side i'm just going to place a normal single crochet so this was my last single crochet i'll come to this side here and place a single crochet so i'm going to insert my hook pull up a loop and make a single crochet 
so this here is my next stitch I'm going to make a single crochet come to your next stitch and make a single crochet like that in each of the stitches here I'm going to evenly place a single crochet and when you reach your corners you have to put three single crochets so once you reach this side instead of putting one single crochet put three single crochet in this stitch and continue making a single crochet again at this corner make three single crochet and then make one single crochet on every stitch of this side once you reach this corner again place three single crochet so just continue making one single crochet in each of these stitches so i'll also continue that and meet you once i'm done with all my four sides just make a normal single crochet so it will be kind of even there will be no rough edges and you can easily stitch this up okay so i'll just continue making a single crochet on all the four sides so here i have finished making single crochet on all the four sides and if you see you'll get a nice uh, clean and even sides in all the four sides and since we have put three single crochet on the corners you can find that it is nicely curved okay so this was my last corner where i have put three single crochets in the corner stitch and to finish this off i'm going to the very first single crochet where we had started i'm going to go there and slip stitch to join okay so this will finish uh, off the border and i'm just going to cut my yarn here okay and now we will stitch this up to make it into a pouch okay so this is how your piece looks like it's very neat and clean piece here that we have got and now i'm going to fold it into a pouch so i'll just do it once again and check the length that i want to have so this is how i want my piece to be okay so i'll just take the same color yarn here and i'll start by making a slip knot first and we we'll, we're just going to join these two pieces so i'm making a slip knot here okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these two pieces where which i have folded like this so just adjust accordingly how much you want the fold to be so this is how i like my fold to work and i'll go at the very bottom here at the very bottom you have two single crochet you can see two single crochet properly i'll be going and working at the very and not the two single crochet but beyond that there is one small stitch that you can find i'm going to attach my yarn here with a slip stitch so join with a slip stitch first so i'm going to make a slip stitch in order to attach my yarn here okay next what i'm going to you do is i'm going to use two single crochet on both sides and make a slip stitch with them so this here you can see that there are two v stitches which are nothing but your single crochet so i'm going to take these two stitches together and make a slip stitch like this come to the next stitch so one stitch from this side one stitch from this side and then complete my slip stitch so i'm just going to make a slip stitch uh, to join these two sides so i'll be making a slip stitch from here all the way to this side and then continue making slip stitch over this you can find that you can, you can easily find the uh, v stitches that are here so i'm just going to place one single crochet over all these stitches come back to this place and then slip stitch across so all the three sides we are going to slip stitch so i'll be just doing that so you can just continue making slip stitches on all the three sides so this is what i'll be doing So here I have attached this side with a slip stitch so I have used both the sides and made a slip stitch. I have reached the end of this and I am just going to place a slip stitch in the rest of the stitches that is for the flap here. So just continue making uh, slip stitches and uh, at this point when we reach the width side we will be making our button hole. so I will show you that also. So I am just placing one slip stitch at the remaining stitches so it is very easy since we have made a single crochet it will be very easy to do the stitches because you can clearly see the stitches so it's like a v so you can properly do that okay so here we are 
at the top side and here we are going to make a buttonhole so when you reach the middle stitch you have to make your buttonhole so i'll continue making a few more slip stitches till i reach almost the center i think this is my center stitch here i have made a slip stitch okay so here i am at my center stitch and here i'm going to make my buttonhole and for that i'm going to make chain 5 so make your 5 chain stitch 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so here i've got my 5 chain stitch i'm going to go in the same stitch and slip stitch again so this will create a small buttonhole kind of a thing and then I'm going to continue making a slip stitch row. So I'll just make slip stitch uh, till I reach the next end. So just continue making one slip stitch and you can continue making slip stitch all the way till here. And once you reach this side, use both these two sides and make slip stitch till you reach the very end. Okay. So I'll just continue making one full uh, row of slip stitches all the way to the bottom. So here I have completed the slip stitches on all the three sides. I just didn't make a slip stitch here. So this is just the single crochet that we had done earlier. I've also attached a button here. Now if you want you can attach the normal wooden button or any button that you have at hand. I just felt that the wooden button was not going very well with the brown color yarn that I have chosen. So yeah a hook case is ready. Just hide in all the loose ends that also I've done. And now I'm going to use this as my hook case. So just take your hooks. You can place this inside your hook case. And use the button for your closure. So there you have your hook case ready. So it's a very simple pattern. You can make this pouch for different um, to store different things. So I'm going to use the other one to store the color pencil. It looks really nice with all the colors. And this being a handmade, it is it is going to be a really good option for a handmade gift. It would look lovely. You can also use this to keep your reading glasses or your sunglasses. So you can find uh, different ways to use this kind of pouches. It has a really good texture to it. So if you like it, please do let me know in the comment box if you uh, enjoyed making this. And if you found this helpful, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.